is over. It happened. What you're watching now is the Cincinnati police as they made their move today against the Contemporary Arts Center, spurring a legal showdown over the controversial Robert Maplethorpe exhibit. When, when police moved in, they temporarily closed the controversial Robert Maplethorpe exhibit to videotape seven questionable photographs, photos that resulted in charges today against the Contemporary Arts Center and its director. It's a very dark day. We know that. But listen, we are going to reopen. Nine members of a Hamilton County grand jury were among the first visitors to the exhibit this morning. And by noon, jurors had indicted CIC director Dennis Berry on charges of pandering obscenity or displaying homoerotic photos. He was also charged with illegal use of a minor in nudity-oriented material for photos of a boy and a girl with their genitals exposed. The center itself faces the same two charges, and the county is asking the center to take those pictures off display. A grand jury, they returned an indictment, which means there are probable cause to believe that those pictures are obscene. Therefore, as responsible citizens, the members of that board are under an obligation to do something about it. But the center says the pictures will stay. It is our intention to preserve the right of the First Amendment it is our commitment that there will be no prior restraint, and we will do anything and everything we need to do in order to protect that. What will happen if the pictures don't come down? The county is keeping its options open. I can't discuss with you what we can do or what we will do. We're just going to wait and see what they decide to do. Dennis Berry is scheduled to be arraigned Friday on obscenity charges. But if the center holds its ground and keeps the pictures on display, the next confrontation may well come even before that date in court. Angry protesters greeted the police as they moved in on the Contemporary Art Center this afternoon. But even before they arrived, almost all in the gallery knew what was about to happen. It turned out they were not only there to serve indictments, but gather evidence. That is, videotape the seven questionable photos. Authorities temporarily closed the art center. Please leave the premises. The order to leave left hundreds of paying customers upset and angry. I think it's un American. These censors are the most un American comic people I've ever met. That's what's obscene. I'm having us get back here. It's just, it's just insane. The criminal indictments and the police action outraged and disappointed prominent Cincinnati attorney Stan Chesley, who just happened to be at the exhibit when the police came in. I can't fathom it in, in this day and age, and it's a very, to me, it's. It's tearing the city apart, and that's what bothers me the most. As the crowd grew restless, an emotional Dennis Barry came out to explain what was going on. In a defiant tone, he said the exhibit will not be shut down, and no one's First Amendment rights will be violated. You will be welcome to come in as Cincinnatians, as Americans, to, have to, to exercise your choice and see this exhibition. So be patient, be calm. I know how you feel, but we want you not to get hurt. We want you to come back in and see this wonderful exhibition. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much. When the Art Center reopened, hundreds streamed in, and some went to the table where most of the controversial photos are located. Some, like Jim Harrison, came away saying the photos are not obscene and are not worth an indictment. It's just an expression of art form, that's all. So that's what this debate is all about, whether these photos are obscene or art. Even after today's difficult opening, Cincinnati is still searching for the answer. More than 80 police officers attempted to maintain order, but three counter-demonstrators were arrested. We're the art police and we're on the scene because these photographs are all obscene. That maple was quite a dude, but we think he is fucking rude. So get your sweet asses out of here. There's no more looking 
at these queers. Simple sign that says, you gotta quit and get rid of all this shit. He wants to videotape it for his collection and set the city in the right direction. You know, Simon, you might get an erection. So forget the stuff about freedom of expression. The art police are here for oppression. We're the art police. Boo, boo, we're from Simon Lee's. Boo.